Here on the Cape Peninsula, the southernmost tip of Africa, some of the continent's brightest young minds are at work. The African Institute for Mathematical Sciences is an oasis of maths and science for Africa's young people. 24-year-old Savannah Nuagaba from Uganda lives, sleeps and eats maths. Everything I do is mathematics. Even when I'm walking, I'm so calculating. When you look at the car coming, you know you're supposed to move right or you're supposed to move left and maybe you're supposed to be this distance away from the, maybe the path or something. And so I discover that almost everything is, is mathematics. Out of 500 applicants from all over Africa, only 50 students are selected for this program. They all have a degree in physics, mathematics, engineering, or computer sciences. Here, they're taught by lecturers from all over the world, and they're aiming for the heights of intellectual achievement. In teaching here, we emphasize the actual research activity more than the rote learning of skills and applying that to standard problems. So we hope in that way to encourage the kind of thinking that you need to make real breakthroughs in science. Students here have research tools which are not always available at African universities. The institution also provides networking opportunities, which opens many doors for graduates. That we want to create the conditions in which the next Einstein could be African. And this is really a very different take on development. It's, it's viewing Africa as an incredible untapped pool of intellectual talent. And the development of this talent is vital for the future of the continent. But it's not all work and no play. Students do find time to relax. Savannah hopes to do a master's in optimization before finally returning to work in Uganda. I believe that, that the Einsteins are discovered even at a younger stage because I'll be teaching people who are much younger than me. I believe they will grow up knowing and having this feel of mathematics that I have gained from Ames and maybe when they get here I believe they will even be much better than us who are here today.